What's up guys, this is Radwolf with the Omega Bros, and I'm here today with a cool new tech video. I haven't really done a whole lot of these, I do have a mouse review kind of in the backlog there. Just kind of want to get some new shots and stuff like that. Anyways, so today I'm talking about uh, my new computer build, which is I'm going to be using for video editing and all that good stuff, you know what I mean? Um, so let's just get right into it right now. Uh, the thing I have first, obviously, is an Intel is our CPU, the Intel i7 6700K. Um, I'm hopefully going to be overclocking it, and to help me keep it cool, I have this bad boy. If I can find it really quick, sorry, I should have had this up already. I am an idiot. There you go, H7, cool. So I have this bad boy to help me cool it. I would like to do some water cooling, but I want to do a custom loop. So that's not until a lot later. Plus, this was a pretty affordable uh, cooler. And I've gotten a lot of good reviews on it from people like the Awesome Sauce Network and Paul's Hardware and stuff like that. Uh, Paul's Hardware, mostly. Shouting out to both of those guys. Not that they need it, but I mean... They do influence. They didn't help influence me to make a custom computer. So, anyways, we got this cool thing. I'm actually gonna add a second one of these fans to the back uh, for a little extra juice, and then also a couple of them on the top of my case. There, I'm gonna fill up the whole case with fans. Anyways, moving on to the next piece of the puzzle, I have the Asus Maximus Formula. Also, look out for a video and actual build log with. Uh, this is like a preemptive build log. I'm gonna have an actual build log where I'm building the computer and show off all the parts and stuff like that a little bit later. Probably just a shitty phone camera. Unfortunately, I do not have a nice camera to shoot on anymore. Uh, but I am saving up for it and I will give you links to the Patreon and if you guys just keep viewing our videos, it'll help out a lot. A three or four hundred dollar camera is something I cannot afford right away, but I will be saving up for it and any money that you guys can offer would help greatly but it is not required as usual anyways let's look at this thing so the main reason i got this is i'm doing kind of a black and white type of build and it has rgb lighting and it has an rgb header for rgb strips that i'm probably going to put in my case and it'll all sync up so it'll be really cool and their aura system is pretty nice i do enjoy the there was like a i think it's from fantex or something like that they're RGB lighting kit that comes with the little controller, but uh, it's just extra money and extra, I don't know, space in a case that isn't that big anyways, so I'd rather save the space. Uh, but I do want to do that custom loop, and part of that is we have these this nice expertly tooled cross chill EK block here on these bits. I'm new to the whole computer building game, so I'm not sure what these are. I could probably read, but I'm not going to, so bug it. Anyways, moving on to the graphics card. I am saving up for a 1070. I'm probably going to bum a 970 off one of my friends for a little while until I can save up for this bad boy. We're going with another ROG Asus brand one. Uh, by the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these people. I'm just This is just the stuff I picked out for myself. This has been getting a lot of good reviews, and it's the best looking, and it'll match the best with my overall aesthetic of the computer, so or I'm going to go with this one when I have the money. Not to mention, it'll work with the Aura lighting on my Maximus motherboard. Moving on to the power supply, we have a RM1000i. Now, the re I could have gone down to an 850 or even a 750 probably, but... This was about, this was only a little bit more than a 750 or an 850 at the time that I bought it when it was on sale on Newegg. So that's why I went with this one. Plus, if I ever decide to go, you know, uh, SLI with this bad boy, uh, I'll have the extra juice for that. So I just thought, why not? And it's a nice, it's in general just a nice power supply anyways. So pretty cool. 80 plus gold certified. Next, we have my RAM here, sticking with Corsair again. Vengeance, nice white ones to go with. I, I'm going to be doing mostly black with some white accents and stuff like that. So, uh, running at 32 megahertz, I believe here, 3200 megahertz. 
But anyways, so these are pretty fast, got 16 gigs. I'd like to upgrade to 64 at some point for video editing, but for right now, this will be just fine. Plus I can uh, overclock the CPU and get a little bit extra punch out of that too. Next up, I have this that I just ordered, so it should be coming in in the next couple of days. This is our SSD, 240 gigs. This is kind of my boot drive until I get a M.2 to go with my ROG board. Um, but for now, this nice try on OCZ. I'm probably going to stick with OCZ for most of my solid state drives. Might go with Kingston or something like that later. But uh, for now, these these are kind of the most affordable and best reviewed SSDs that I've seen on the market. So sticking with that. And then next up, we have a two terabyte just stash of WD Blue. Nothing too important or special. This is just where I'm going to be keeping all the you know videos and stuff that I'm already done with. Next up, one of the best parts that most people want to see is the case. So we have a Fantex Eclipse P400S. Yes, I got the silent version with the window for those nice RGB lighting to show through. Don't know how it's going to work with this bit right here. I will probably just leave it off or like a white down there. Um, and I'm probably going to change out all the case fans in here and I'll show you that in a second. It has a nice fan header up here though, so I can control some of the fans off of here just in case the seven freaking fan headers on the Maximus board isn't enough. And I do plan on filling up the whole case with fans since I don't have a water block or anything like that. I don't really care about noise uh, too much because I wear headphones most of the time anyways, noise canceling headphones. Um, but I think it'll still be a pretty quiet system no matter what. Uh, next, some of our other fans that are going in the case, I'm going to get two 140 of these right here with the nice cool racing stripe type of deal. It also has a white LED that's not going to clash with any of the RGBs that I have in there. I'll just brighten up the system hopefully is what I'm planning on. Or I could turn off the lights on this I'm sure. Um, but I'm going to get two 140s for the front and then one 120 in the back of this one. And I'm going to have a couple more um, cryo rig fans like this one up at the top. So, Next up, we have some accessories and stuff that I'm not going to get till way later, uh, like this nice chair here from Need for Seat, sticking with that white and black type of look so all my RGB lighting in my room and stuff sticks with it, looks good. Now I could have gone with the DX Racer, but I decided to go with a Maxonomic. I just, I've heard better reviews and they have better foam and stuff like that. But I just feel like the seat quality is a little bit better. So I'm probably going to go with this guy at some point, maybe over Christmas or something. Also grab one of these guys. Right now I'm working with a Sharkoon uh, Shark Force that I did a kind of like review on over on the log that you can find in the description. Uh, and I have a video on it coming up. Uh, it was only like 20 bucks, so it's a good beginner's mouth, but mouse, but this guy has a lot more options, and it has RGB lighting, and it looks really nice, and it's a little bit wider, which my hand's nice. I like the wide grip, so probably going to go with this at some point. Also, going to grab a, I, as you can tell, I like Corsair. Um, going to go with one of these Strafe RGBs uh, with the Cherry MX Reds, just standard. Um, and I would like to change out most of the keycaps with white keycaps at some point. So, But most people know about this guy. Lots of good reviews. Really good keyboard. Going to go with that at some point. Next up, our RGB lighting. I'm probably going to grab some cable mod, wide, wide beam uh, magnetic strips, a couple of them, to go in the case and hook up there. They're pretty cool. They look pretty good. They also are a lot brighter than most regular RGBs, and it works with the Aura, so. And last cable mod. I'm probably going to get some custom cables. This is just examples. I don't know how many I'll need or which ones I'll need right now, but at some point I'm going to get some custom cables in a, like, white and black and silver type of theme right now. Or I'll just get all white sleeves. We'll see. Depends on how it looks in there. And so that's it, guys. That's been my build uh, keep it updated here uh, you can you know support us on patreon or just keep watching our videos to help us out I'm gonna be setting up a whole bank for the the channel and everything with how many views we get and I'm gonna be trying to do more videos and streams and stuff like that so keep it tuned here anyways this has been rad wolf with the Omega Bros network and you can always come back for more 
tech stuff, games, and music. And I will see you later.